Hello everybody, welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry. Are you ready for a review on the Namisa Nova Fountain Pen? Uh, a special uh, thanks out there to Bill Milling. Uh, he's loaned me this pen for a review. So uh, here is the uh, Nova. It's an interesting fountain pen. I'm going to tell you what I like about this pen and what I don't like about this pen. First of all, it is an eye catcher. A really nice looking pen. Uh, in fact, it looks better in person than it does in a picture. It feels great in my hands, okay? Uh, it's a aluminum uh, body, and uh, for the site, it's called the Aircraft Grade Aluminum, what they use to make this pen. It's a very nice, uh, stylish pen, and it has a brush finish on it. It makes it look really cool. I like it. I really do like it. And, you know, on the top of the finial, all the way down to the finial, has a kind of a, like a cone shape pointed. Uh, that looks really cool on the pen. Uh, like I said, the pen really has some feel to it. Uh, it's the kind of pen that you would like to use every day uh, if you're into fountain pens. Uh, and the color of the pen is a Comet gray pen and uh, it has a extra fine nib on it as well the length uh, of the pen cap like you see it is 28 one 28 millimeters okay that is the length of it um and uh post it there's none because they recommend you do not post this pen and i'll get into that later uh, the weight of the pen is 29 G's. Okay, we got that out of the way. All right, all good. Um, this pen first came out on the Kickstarter uh, a few years ago. And I think this pen's, I don't know, like uh, 45, would that be pounds? Uh, but in American dollars, I believe it's like 50, 59 dollars, somewhere in there. Uh, not a bad price for a decent fountain pen. Uh, so, so far, everything is looking good. So, it unscrews. And uh, inside the cap, you see the threads inside the cap. So, that's why I, they recommend you not post it. And I didn't put it on there tight. Not my pen. I don't want to make any scratches on this pen. So, I'm not going to do that. But, as you can well see, if it's well nice in the hand. I have small hands. Uh, so if you have large hands, you're still going to have ample enough room. Uh, so there's no problems with that. And the uh, the feed uh, and the nib, nice size, not your small nib or feed. It's got a nice size nib, bonk nib, number six, which I like about the pen. Also, what I like about the pen, you can run your fingers up and down where the threads are, and there's nothing that's going to make you feel uncomfortable or it's going to, you know, cut your hand or just make it so unruly that you don't want to use a pen because it's so annoying because it's not. It really isn't. It really is just a really nice, pleasant fountain pen. And... Uh, so, let's go ahead and take off the barrel, and I've got it inked up. Well, what's left of the ink, maybe there's enough for review, uh, with some KWZ Hawaii Blue, my favorite blue ink. Love the ink, love it. So, and pull out, push in, is use your, your standard international uh, converters, uh, longer short cartridges so we'll screw this back on and put the cap back on and show you what I don't like about the pen if you have it on the table that's not level it will roll off like you're seeing now. So you better make sure your table is level. It will roll off and kaboom! 
There goes your pen. Now your cap. As you know, we write, we put our caps down, and there it goes. Without that clip to help support that, this pen's going to go crazy. So, I would like using this pen every day, but it's not the kind of pen that, like it is now, you can put it in your pocket because it'd be going all over the place, and you don't want to put the pen in your pants pocket if you have any keys in your thing. It's going to ruin the finish on the pen, so we don't want to damage the pen. So, if you have a uh, pen sleeve, you can put it in there, but you still would kind of be kind of awkward if you put it in your pocket with the pen sleeve because it's going to bounce around in the pen sleeve. So that's not going to work, but it will keep your pen secure, and that's what we want to do, always keep our pen safe. So you can put it in your uh, messenger bag, purse, in your pocket because you have that pen sleeve to protect your pen. But again... I don't know why they didn't put on a uh, clip on it. That's my big gripe about pens. They look great. They look fantastic. But for some reason, they don't put clips on pen because they, it's fashion. It looks good. It's cool. It's groovy. Well, it may be all that, but still, it can roll off your desk, table, wherever, and then your pen's not cool or groovy no more. Okay? All right. So that's that. So let me show you another pen I'm going to put up next to it. Is a Keras Custom. They're a small one. And now, see? It has a clip, so it stopped rolling. Good for that. But uh, you can kind of compare the size to the Keras Custom, the, the smaller one. And uh, the, the Nova is a, a little bit bigger, uh, but it has more girth to it. Uh, and, you know, if you're familiar with Carrots Customs, you know how well made they are. And uh, I think this is a pretty darn good pen. So, uh, enough of the pen. So, how does a pen write? As you, if you keep up with my reviews, you always know that I'm really picky about nibs. I don't like fine nibs. I don't like extra fine nibs. Unless that nib is wet, that can lay down some ink then I'm all in the groove with the nib. Are you hearing me? So, let's go ahead and cap it, and let's set the nib upright so it won't roll off. And here we go. This is a box number six. It's fine nib, so here we go. Boom. No hard starts. Great ink flow. I'm feeling it for an extra fine nib. There you go. It does say back on the nib. It does not give the nib size unless it's below the box nib where the nib is stuck in further down. So what I want to do now, I'll be right back because I have another nib I'm going to show you. I'm going to change out nibs with the number six nib, the different size nib that uh, Bill also sent. So I'll be right back. Okay, here on my left, we have another Bach number six nib. This is a fine nib. Uh, I believe it's a Keras Custom uh, that uh, Bill also sent. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how simple it is to change out this number six nib because the whole unit fits together. So that's a good thing. And I'll remember to put my cap upright. And we're going to screw the barrel, take it off. I hope you all are still with me because this is a very interesting fountain pen. And we're going to take off the nib. And you want to do it very carefully. You're going to twist it. And then we'll put this right back in. Just screws in the section. That's all there is to it. And let's see here. We probably want to put some ink in it. 
Let me set this other unit aside. Fills up really quick and easy. You know, I really do love fountain pens. I do a, a lot of writing all day long. I mean, if I get up at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock, I'm writing at my desk. Then I come do my workout, I'm writing at the workout bike. Then I go back to my desk, I log everything down, I do some more writing. Then when I get up, I do more writing. Then when I get to Starbucks, I do a lot more writing. When I get home, it's writing, 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 writing. Is that right or wrong, Mr. Announcer? That's correct. That's what I do. I can go through ink pretty quick in a pen. Believe it or not, because I do that much writing. Because that's my passion. Fountain pens, inks, I love to write. I'm going to cap this real quick. And let me put the bottle so it won't roll away. And we're going to try to snip out. This is the one, the extra nib that Bill sent with a fine nib. Titanium nib. Bach number six titanium nib. Look at that. This is a nib to die for. I wish I had this nib. I have two Keras Customs ink that have the uh, titanium fine nibs. Great pen. Look at that. Wet, juicy. This is the nib to die for. Look at it, lay down that ink. Okay, there you have it. So, all in all, what do I think about the pen like I told you? I love it. Uh, if it only had a clip on the barrel. I would use this every day. Well, if it was my pen, I'd carry it in my pen bag, pen case, and I would use it every day. I would. I, I absolutely love this fountain pen. And they come in other colors, but I think this color is out. And you can locate this pen at www.nam isu.com and they have uh, different uh, styles of pens. They have the Nova and then they have two other ones. I think one's a, four, a 40 uh, pounds, another is a 45 pounds, and another is a 90 pounds. Now the, the one for 90 pounds is a titanium body on it and uh, you know titanium if you don't take care of it and be careful with it you can scratch it up. So uh, but this is really a nice pen. And it, I looked on the site for this pen and they don't have it anymore. They're gone. I believe they got black, blue, and red. Really nice pens. Really feels fine in the hand. Looks good. It has a professional look at the kind of pen you can take to an executive meeting. Uh, you can use it in junior high, high school, college. Uh, you can use it out and about in the field when you're writing in your journals every day at home, wherever in the hell you feel like using the pen. It's a great, fantastic, wealth-worthy pen to have in your collection. If you're a pen collector, then this is the pen to have. So, yes, I wish it was mine, but it's not. It'll be going home to Bill so he can baby it. Love it. And I'll have to do a lot of cleaning. All right. That's going to wrap up this review on the Nevis Nova fountain pen. So, appreciate you joining me today. Dynamite fountain pen. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm pumped up about it because it's that good of a fountain pen, in my opinion. Leave your comments below, people. Thanks for watching me. And I hope you watch me every time I put a video out. Support my channel. If you can, subscribe to it. If you like, 
Leave your comments below. Be civil. Talk to you later.